Hello! So, Sailor Moon's birthday is June 30th, and I thought I'd jump the gun and do something for her birthday. I don't know why I feel the need to do something for anime characters' birthdays that I really love, but I do. <laughs> Uh, the last time I did this was for Bakugo's birthday, and I did glass art, or glass, painting glass art, and it was really, really fun, so I thought I would do the same thing, but not as a joke, more of a serious video this time, <laughs> and properly explaining how I'm doing it. So if you're also working on glass painting anime characters, I hope this helps, and I hope you enjoy this video. So starting right off, um... The TikTok trend makes this look a lot easier than it actually is. It's a lot harder to do and it takes a lot of time. Uh, I ended up finishing this, I think, at the seven hour mark. So this took me seven hours in total to finish, not including the drawing time, just the, the painting and the, the painting, the painting and the drawing. So what you're gonna need is a picture, some painter's tape, uh, acrylic paint, some oil-based sharpie markers preferably black are the color that you want your lines to be in and some cheap glass uh my mom took me to the dollar store and we just got a bunch of cheap frames just for the glass uh, i printed out this picture of sailor moon now when you print out your pictures i recommend getting rid of the the background that way you don't use a lot of your printer ink and you're gonna want to flip the photo. Always flip the photo because then when you flip the glass the other direction, it'll be facing the right way. Now, unlike the last or the first glass thing that I did, Bakugo, I picked a really big picture this time to make it way more easier on myself. It's really hard to draw like thin lines in detail, so I thought for my second one, I really wanted to nail it, so I printed out big big photo. So once you get your photo, you're going to want to put tape on the back of it and basically uh, tape it to the glass and make sure you clean your glass that way there are no like dust, speckles, cat hair like mine had. So the purpose of the tape is to kind of like hold it down that way you know exactly where it's going to be. Some people keep the tape on there the entire time. Now. I didn't record any of this, that way you don't see any like sneak peeks or spoilers of what the other side looks like, but I took the tape off multiple times throughout this entire thing. It is, I, I highly recommend that you keep taking off the picture on the back and holding up your glass to the light, that way you can see how well your marker lines are, how well the paint comes through, like it, it really reveals all of your mistakes, hardcore. So. What I used for my lines was a uh, black oil-based Sharpie paint markers. And I wouldn't use Sharpie because Sharpie kind of like dissolves in the, in the paint. You're, you're gonna wanna get oil-based uh, paint markers and get fine and extra fine. Cause that's, I don't know. I watched a video and they just said, get that. And that's what worked for me. <laughs> So I recommend getting those. Uh, I also had this Al Art Alternatives Permanent Marker, which I also used and I didn't have any issues with it dissolving. So I also recommend that, I guess. The difference with like regular markers and the oil-based ones is that the oil-based ones come out thick and opaque, which in the end looks a lot better. You won't have to go over your lines multiple times with other markers. I cannot get that. It to, to focus on the marker. Jeez, why won't it focus? So getting right into the time lapse part, and I tried really hard to make my lines straight. It's hard not to be wobbly. At some point going into it, if you're doing multiple glass paintings, you'll get the hang of it at some point, but your first couple are gonna look kind of scuffed. Mine was a little 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 wonky at times. It's hard to get a nice straight line and sometimes you can get that perfect like hand swivel and other times you're going to be really wobbling around. So I tried to use the thicker markers for the thicker lines, obviously, and then for the tiny little details using that thinner marker. But the thin marker of course needed multiple layers and still wasn't enough to be totally opaque. This is why the oil-based markers are so much better. 
my head keeps coming into frame so many times. I'm so sorry, my head just keeps, I was trying so hard to make sure my lines matched up. Um, in another video, they recommended taking a, um, kind of like a, like a knife or a scratching tool. You can use like the edge of scissors to kind of make your line straighter to scrape off off the glass. Any like little, little mess ups in the paint or the line work. Now, before I even started painting, of course, I took off the tape and held it up to the glass and I thought, oh, this line work, it's perfect. It's gonna look great. What didn't occur to me is that I did this over a really long time frame. And I did it really slowly because I wanted it to come out perfect. Well, I didn't realize until kind of towards the end that as I was doing the paint really slow, my hand was smudging off the black line work. So be very careful not to like rub your hand against the glass because you're, you're gonna smudge uh, your work and you won't notice. So yeah. <laughs> Uh, I wish I had noticed sooner. I guess I just wasn't paying attention to the areas that I was smudging. Uh, that just didn't really occur to me. Now, all the paints that I have, I actually pre-mixed uh, way before I even started. I didn't like mix them as I went. I like pre-mixed all of the colors and put them all into little containers and numbered them all in the order that I was going to be painting them in. Which is I, a little weird. I wanted the colors to be like really specific and it's hard to get down to the shades. Uh, just another word of caution. Uh, as you can see in her hair, there's not a line that separates the shading and the actual color of her hair. If you pick a photo that has shading that isn't like separated by a black line, you're gonna have to freehand that with paint and it will be hard. <laughs> so I wish you the best of luck in that because it, it, it was kind of difficult for me and at one point I ended up using like tape to try to help myself and that didn't work out very well, but we'll get to that later. Uh, I started off with like the little colors trying to get up to the big colors, that way I could just go over the paint um, again and again. With each layer of paint, I was holding it up to my lamp to make sure that it was thick enough. With some glass art, you, you might want your paint thin, that way the light shines through, or you want it thick so no light shines through at all. I wanted it super thick, that way the light wasn't shining through the paint at all. I wanted only the background of her to be like perfect and everything just like in case, that way it looks kind of like just there. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a hard time explaining this. Uh, I am using, uh, what, 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 what paint am I using? Hold on. I'm using, a uh, Apple Barrel Multi-Surface Satin Acrylic Paint. Uh, and during this, I also put a little bit of, uh, sparkle into her eyes. The sparkle, though, dried up the pre-made paint that I had made, which was a bummer, so I had to, like, keep adding water into it to make it watery again, to make it paint. It was just kind of like a dry, hard shell. But I will say, picking a bigger picture did help a lot. It was it was way more fun than the first one was. It just, I had a lot more fun doing it. It was very calming. And when you do this, you really gotta like glob on the paint if you want it to be opaque. You have to like stack that paint up layer after layer after layer. And it takes the paint so long to dry. So I do a layer, set it somewhere, and then I come back a day later and then do another layer of like the same color. So yeah, it, it really did take a while to uh, dry and over the course of it, of course, like I said before, smudging my, smudging my beautiful line work. And uh, of course, trying to tape off the shading in her hair didn't really work out. So I ended up having to fix that too. <laughs> I'm really glad I picked this photo though. I actually have this photo uh, on my Twitch as a link to my Etsy account because I like to make uh, bunny plushes and I thought it was like the perfect photo and I don't know I, I really relate to this photo a lot because my whole twitch thing is like Sailor Moon and that's the whole thing about my channel and I really gotta find a nice place to put this photo because I loved it I absolutely loved it I made this for my room <laughs> basically and now I really want to go through all of the other uh, Sailor Scouts birthdays and make glass art of each one of them because I think it would be really pretty. This uh, this isn't like an easy 
craft thing. You know, there's some craft projects that you're like, oh, this will be so much fun and easy. Uh, uh, it was kind of long. I thought it was going to take me a lot less time, but it, it really does take you a hefty amount of time to finish it. If you want it to be like perfect, I was so picky and hard on myself, like, oh, this needs to be exactly like this and this needs to be just like this and it'll be perfect and all that. And I did go to the one. So when my mom took me to the dollar store to get cheap glass, uh, the glass was the good part. The cheap frame was kind of the the, the crappy part because the frame is really flimsy and all of the paint kind of makes it like it's two pieces of glass thick after that because the paint t does add a big thickness into the frame. So if you don't really care about the frame, I'd, just, I'd really just go to the dollar store and get a cheap frame. But if you want like a nice sturdy frame, I, I recommend going to um, Michael's and getting like a nice specific one that you like. See, at a certain point in the paint, it looks so funny because you can't see any of the details. <laughs> and the bunny's face is just like gone. You can't see any lines. <laughs> so funny. Why does it look so funny? Oh my gosh, I've been procrastinating recording the audio for this video because I didn't know what to say. I'm like, I just painted a piece of glass. <laughs> That's all I did for like a whole month is just paint a piece of glass. <laughs> and it was so much fun. I want to do it again. I'm going to do it again. Get ready. The next the next uh, Sailor Scout birthday, I think it's uh, Sailor Mercury. Get ready because that's, that's going to be another one. <laughs> and I need to find a picture for it. This is like really nice, beautiful, right? Aesthetic stuff. Aesthetic stuff. What's nice about the glass art is that it's like, you can pick a picture and it'll be your aesthetic on a piece of glass, which is nice. It's like a, you can make your own custom photo. You don't even have to like buy a poster. You can make a nice little frame and that's, that's the fun part. So here is the big reveal. And of course I took the tape off before, so I already know what it looks like. <laughs> but I mean, you guys don't know what it looks like. It'll be a surprise to you. I, <laughs> I've been staring at this thing for weeks now. Looking at it, looking at it in the frame. And da 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 da, there it is. Look how great it looks. I think it looks amazing. I think it came out so well. I can't believe how well it came out. I thought it was gonna come out like way bad, kind of like the Bakugo one did, but this one, it actually came out really nice. And you, you can kind of see those black little scuff marks of where I slowly rubbed off the, the lining, but overall, I am overwhelmingly happy with this. You can even see like the little sparkle in her eyes at times, which is super nice and cute. I'm so happy. Uh, here's me walking around in random areas trying to like get good lighting for this. I have terrible time getting lighting for certain things that I'm trying to show off in videos. But when I hold it up to the light, you can kind of see through it. You can see like where the paint's lighter and like really how many like layers you have to do to get that solid color. The light still kind of shines through but it's not like aggressive like bright there's the light through your glass i would really like to make more of these and put them on my etsy account but that that's gonna take that's gonna take a while this is gonna take a lot more practice but i'm so happy with this one and i'm just awkwardly walking room to room getting different shades of light from different things holding it up places getting some close-ups on um the oil-based markers and you can see like the one that was the permanent marker has a more of like a purplish tone while the oil based ones have that thick black color. And there's my mom's cat, Jet, because he just happened to be in the room when I was recording. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Bobby? <laughs> so yeah, uh, Sailor Moon is definitely my favorite anime character of all time and I thought I'd do something really special for her birthday and now I have this nice pretty picture to hang up in my room. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, as always if you have any questions please feel free to ask me and I hope you have a lovely day.